So I'm currently inside the Kaliningrad Old Stock Exchange, which is right by the river, and just over the, just right by the river, and massive bridge, and it's just over the river from the cathedral I was at yesterday. So from what I know is, this place was supposed to be destroyed by the Soviets and make way for something different, but thankfully they didn't. And instead, as you can see, they've turned it into an art exhibition center. Just one giant exhibition center where they have like local, well, local works of art, art from all periods of Russia, both modern and classical to a sense. Yeah, it's pretty sick that they didn't destroy it because um, you imagine like uh, hundreds of years ago when this was still part of Coinsburg, it would have had people buying, selling, shorting shares and all that stuff. Like, it would have been very chaotic because this was the old capital of Prussia. So this was the financial center in the hub. The art, as you can see, it's very, well, very interesting. This is a nice one. Very nice. Yeah. Rand Papa Babushka and the uh, granddaughter with a cat. So that's pretty cool. Berry pickers. Independent. Man carrying some squash. Uh, there's a cat staring us down. So I was messing around upstairs, but they took me downstairs and this is where the tour actually starts. You make your way up, but very interesting. So what we got here, we got some, uh, some old money, some stamps, an old typewriter, and some postcards. If it was once Coinsbury. Is now Kaliningrad. Ah, oh, sweet, an old phone. Uh, looks like a Polish phone. First part of the 20th century. See if it still works. Nope. <sighs> what a shame. That was very interesting, like just being down here in general. It's very art, very archaic, but the extent of the whole building is absolutely massive. It's just room after room after room. Just works of art from all over the country, mostly local. Yeah, you got uh... yeah, interesting. Not my cup of tea, but it is what it is. And a tip I learned for Russia from a YouTuber that I follow called Tool Travels. If it's more than 500 rubles to get in, nah, don't bother. And he's, he's actually got a point. Some places are reasonably cheap and some are very expensive for what they are. got here we've got some like, amazing stuff oh they got one of the UK no way <clears throat> I'll have to get someone to translate this for me so this is interesting I thought this was a uh, mirror or something but no <laughs> it's uh, looking into another room looks like a medieval village or something a mock-up Yeah, so you'll see statues and plaques and murals to an extent of this guy all over the city. His name was Emmanuel Kant, and he was a very famous um, composer from Kaliningrad, born and raised here, and died here. Um, he was the man who designed the, uh, the organs at the cathedral, uh, where they play like a lot of music, and he composed a lot of music there from the classical era. Enlightenment, uh, it's very interesting. A very interesting guy indeed. 
if I check out this vice. So this is another section of the museum. It's just absolutely amazing. So I think everything here is just a detail about what life was like here back in the day when this was Königsberg, not Kaliningrad. So back when it was under German occupation and influence. So I'm now in another section where I found some really cool works of art, prints from different time periods of the city at clinical moments. So you've got one of, um, looks like street kids smoking under an umbrella from 2001. You've also got one of uh, people struggling in the city just before Soviet Union collapsed in uh, 1990. And then a really cool one, so that building main building at Kaliningrad, which is supposed to be a government building, but has never been completed or occupied. Um, construction started like in the early seven, early 80s and just, well, never got used. But this is my personal favourite one. So this is, um, it's like uh, Russian soldiers. One of them is chucking some food at uh, Kaliningrad Zoo. It's a big polar bear. Uh, 2001. And then you've got this piece of work here which sums up the city perfectly. Uh, well, new BMW for the time, very, very nice. Uh, so, 2001, uh, progress of the city, so old, new. What's very interesting about this place is there's so much stuff to see and look at. I mean, this is pretty cool. So, this is from 1970, and this is the cathedral or another building in the city when it was completely bombed out from World War II so 30 plus years afterwards still haven't done anything about it but then you've got loads of things in the city Cyprus people screwing around with a, oh they're making a film and uh, apparently this city is very big with filmmaking both old and new and it's got the perfect backdrop for it 